Yo, what's up Fakafano? how's it going? Here We're here with another Fishmas episode and also another fly tying episode. As I said in the last episode, this will be one of the flies that I, one of the only few flies that I'll be using tomorrow. Um, we have a 3mm tungsten bead on a 14, a size 14 nymph hook. Um, today we are tying the very simple, very easy here in copper. This is probably the easiest fly that you can that you can tie out there besides peacock the the peacock curl fly which is just peacock curl which seems to be effective I can also do a tutorial on that so for easy factor and for catching rate the hearing copper is probably the one to do so anyway guys um, we're gonna start off grabbing some pheasant tail fibers off there and we're gonna place that along the shank of the hook once again it will be half the shank the length of half the shank of your hook how are we looking there yep that's looking pretty good to me so I've tied that in now unlike the pheasant tail we don't want this sitting here so we're just gonna snip that off and just tie that little bit in and we'll go back here now I'm gonna grab some copper wire this is essential for a herring copper as um, the copper's in the name so yep so we definitely need that so I'm going to tie him in remember guys I'm not the best fly tie in the world but these flies work and and the, these uh, tutorials are more for beginners and people that are wanting to get into it once again if I am speaking too fast or this is moving too fast for you please just slow just go back and um, slow me down but anyway so we've got the the copper in now all we need is the hair so I've got my hair pelt here <laughs> how's that my hair pelt here and we're just gonna just gonna pluck some off remember guys and same as last video less is more we're gonna rub this in um, just a little tip make sure at the start so the start, the first bit that's going to go onto your hook, make sure there isn't as much and then get thicker and thicker up, up the line because obviously up this nymph you want it to get thicker and thicker to create the body, to create the thorax and all of that carry on. So anyway, we're just going to tie this in, oh shivers, just hit my camera. Remember with the team you can also add rather than subtract but I might just add a little bit more to the collar I like it I like it a bit thicker around the top here so I'm only going to use a very slight amount I'm just going to rub that in rub it in tie that in how's that looking? that's looking thicker now we're just going to grab our copper and we're going to create the ribbing it goes around around and around tie that off I just wrap it around the thread like so I don't know how well you guys can see that probably not very well and then we're just going to tie that in around the head get the get the copper pull it up cut and boom <laughs> it's still here in copper too easy too easy this is probably my favorite fly um, to tie because what's that taken me probably if I wasn't instructing it would probably take me less than two minutes to tie and we've got a nymph that will catch fish so yeah tomorrow as I said as I have already mentioned I'm fishing um, it's gonna be a great day hopefully I can lay into some fish I'm only gonna be using this here in copper and I don't know where this won't zoom in but here I have the pheasant tail that I just tied last video thank you all for watching episode not uh, yeah episode episode 9 of Fishmas um, awesome we're smashing through these videos um, but yeah thank you all for watching hope you guys got something out of this if there's 
any fly that you should tie, tie these two. Um, they're very simple, very easy. If you've got any questions, please leave them down in the comments. But yeah, we're going to get stuck in tomorrow and hopefully get a good video for you guys. So cheers for watching. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Peace.